Checker Pro Joe here on the Checker Pro Radio Show, bringing you the best home service companies that I can find out there. And today, Adam Greer from Easy Lift Garage Doors and More is joining me here on the Checker Pro Radio Show. By the way, he's been on board with us as a pre-qualified member for over 10 years. Hello, Adam. Hi, Jim. How are you doing? I am doing well, living the dream. Thank you so much. You know what comes well, up a lot? Um, the question of warranties backing up what you do in terms of service and the products you supply the people who listen to the checker pro radio show and all your customers what kind of warranties do you have on the service and on the products that's a great question uh for example on anything we install we do a one-year parts and labor warranty uh, we warranty even the labor. I know a lot of people argue with us on that, um, but it's we we stand behind our product, mm. so we make sure we put it in right the first time. I would say this: there's always the the, the caveat, you know, acts of God, hurricanes. <laughs> what some people try to claim as warranty gets interesting. Uh, remember, we are the professionals, and so it's it is funny with some of the stories we get told. And I'm looking at, I know for sure that's not us. So it does get sketchy sometimes on what people believe should be warranted and what isn't. But what is warranted is the parts we installed, labor we took to install it. Any abuse, neglect, don't keep up with your maintenance, it does void, void the warranty. If someone else touches it first before us, voids the warranty. Mm. The reason for that is I can't tell whether that's the guy who messed it up or if it was messed up before we got there. Yeah. So if you have another company come out and you call and say, hey, I had ABC show up because you weren't available, and they said you did da 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 da. Prove that to me, please. I mean, that's automatic void of warranty because I don't know. I don't know whether that guy messed up. Did he blame it on me? You know, you just don't know. So it can get the moving wall. You know, we've talked about this before. That garage door is a moving wall and lots of stress points, and it, lots can happen. If it's not well cared for, it, it'll fall apart. Yeah. So in short, you guys back everything up when you've installed it and you've touched it last. But in all fairness, if someone else has been messing with it, it's not fair to you at Easy Lift yeah. because something has been tampered with. We see it all the time on the back of an electronics box. It'll say warranty void if you take off cover. Well, that's yeah. kind of fair because if it you're is. in there messing around with something and short it out, is that really right. fair to Sony? Right. It, is it fair to Easy Lift, Lift Master, whomever? No, it's not. So right. um, I'm glad to hear, though, that you're there for our listeners at Checker Pro to you know, back up what you do, because a lot of companies will have a very limited one. Uh, you know, one is, well, you know, when you see us drive away, that's the warranty. Uh, after that, good luck. Maybe it's a week, a month, but you go a lot further. Yeah, intentionally. Um, we, we want to provide the best service, and so we stand behind what we do. It's really good business. I know this because when you take care of your customer, they'll continue to come back and they'll also refer you, which is really good business sense. But even putting that business sense aside as far as what could come back to you as a business owner later, it's the right thing to do. And when you do the right thing, everyone wins. Yeah, the right thing to do. We will do right by our customers, period. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Would you say that most of your competitors don't back up service and the product as well as you guys do? Uh, you know, I, I want to be careful, but most people are warranty product, but not their labor. Mm -hmm. So you come out for the product, but you, the labor gets jacked up to cover it. You know, mm -hmm. it's the way it is. Um, that's why we threw it in. And trust me, I know that in theory, that's not smart, but if if we have to fix it because it fell apart, that shouldn't be on you. That makes a lot of sense. If if something is under warranty for a year, eight months into it, let's say the garage door opener fails. Now I have to pay to have you come out and do the labor on it. But wait a second. You're the one who installed the failure. Right. Right. Yeah. Like I said, it. It, it can get hairy, but 
we'll do it. We stand by it. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine going to a dentist and they put a filling in? Okay. It's supposed to last maybe a lifetime, at least half your lifetime. Six months later, it comes out and they're like, yeah, we'll put a new filling in, but we're, we're the dentist is going to charge you to put it back in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Right. Hold on. He didn't put it in right the first time. Right. So, right. And, they, and they would never do that, by the way. A doctor would never. Right. Do that. Right. Yeah. Good. All right. This has been awesome. Thank you so much, Adam. As usual, I really appreciate you coming in and helping me and our listeners with their garage door issues. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me.